Hello, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Random Thoughts for me, O Ted Bear. Now, being on YouTube a lot, I, you know, I tend not only do I put videos up on YouTube, I watch a lot of YouTube as well. And one of the shows I watch a lot is SourceFed's Table Talk. And one of the questions they got asked is, what would you do with a time machine? Which got me thinking. Now, among special abilities, the, the ability to move by will, or by TARDIS, or by Vortex Manipulator, or... Through space and time, ranks right up there with flying and invisibility for the most interesting way to get yourself in a whole lot of trouble. Now, the first thing I would do is I would get myself a rather large fortune. I would use a tactic used by the immortals of the Highlander TV series. And what they would do is they would take a couple hundred bucks and put it into a bank. Or about ten. Leave it there for about 20, 30 years just, and just accrue interest. And then take out and then repeat as often as needed. Now, I wouldn't just get a Vandal Savage level of fortune to have a massive party. I could. Yeah, with, with, with that much money, you, you gotta do at least, you gotta have one. Yeah, you gotta have one major party with, with the fireworks and, and like multiple cops called. Never been, never been to that type of party, and might be fun. But the main purpose of my time machine would be to find the inciting incident of each and every conflict. I mean, hell, we can't trust modern media to tell us what the hell happened twenty minutes ago. You think we can? You think? We need to get past the human history, the personal pain history of war, and actually find the real, the real cause. I got the idea from the from the the first part of the story, not the first chapter, but the, yeah, of the book Federation by uh, Judith Reeves Stevens. It's somebody's name, so I have to make sure I say it right, especially if I can't. Now, Admiral Kirk, before he goes uh, to send the Enterprise B on its way in the story Generations, or in the movie Star Trek Generations, he goes to the Guardian of the City of the Edge of Forever. Remember the the original series, you know the big donut, the big donut that lights up and says, you know, you know, I a question since before your sun burned hot in space, I've waited for a question to show show you different histories and stuff like that. Well, the research, the Federation, of course, has been researching the whole time. And one of the things they found was the reason behind a thousand-year interplanetary war, which actually started when one ruler ran over the other ruler's pet. Which information brought red faces all around and brings me to the point of my time machine mission. Now, with generations using their personal history as the gospel of why we fight. My father, my father's father, my father's 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 father has been in this fight, and that's why we fight. Hundreds, hundreds of years, and sometimes 
thousands of years of personal pain invested in a fight that keeps the fight going, which adds more people and more pain to the cycle, which keeps the fight going, which, you know. Now, if I'm making this sound like an endless bloody cycle from the bowels of hell, good, I'm, I am articulating correctly. Now, going back in time and trying to find the inciting incident would be a dangerous undertaking. But the possibility of actually finding finding a way to stop it, I think it would be worth it. Now, a safer, albeit equally less likely course of action, would be a couple of generations of people who were willing to, to, to let go of the past. Yes, father, great grandfather, I honor you. But, you know, I honor you, I honor your sacrifice. But that was to build a new world. Um, I'm trying, I'm, I, I don't, what I want to do is to give a future. Let go of the past so we can have a future. I mean, the very science fiction that gave us the idea of time travel said that we would be, that promise we'd be out amongst the stars, you know, having learning. Yes, learning. Learning was the word I was going for there. <laughs> well, you know, it's a thought. A more random thought for me. Oh, Ted Bear. And as always, I just hope I helped. <laughs>